Okay, so here's where, where we left off last time, except uh, I just saved it as the processing as open change color. And uh, the text is the same. What I want to do is make the Arduino uh, control, pro or control Photoshop. And uh, this connection is pretty easy. And then the last video we uh, learned how to open an Apple script and uh, with Apple script you can control Photoshop uh, the thing is it's hard to pass in values I haven't quite figured out I mean there I don't think there's really an easy way to do it so uh, but what I can do is in processing I can save text to a text file and then in Apple script I can go in and I can get that text out of that text file. So basically I can save any kind of uh, information, I mean as long as you put it in text form and then you can open it up and parse it and do whatever you want to in Photoshop. So in this video I'm just gonna, gonna talk about this part. Okay, so we have our open change color, and uh, we have our mouse pressed. Um, what I'm going to do is, uh, when the mouse press, I want to get a random integer uh, between 0 and 255 and set it up as uh, a blue value, because I want to have... Uh, be able to change uh, the fill color in Photoshop. So uh, I'm going to do int. Um, I'm going to call it blue int, and I'm going to say uh, random uh, 255, and that just means uh, it's giving me a random random float between 0 and 255 and uh, but I want to have it as an integer not as a float so I don't want any decimal values so I'm just gonna cast it as an int integer so basically what this is doing is saying take this random float and make it an integer save that integer as a blue as a, you know as blue int so if I want a string value of that, because uh, I'm going to have be saving it in text, so I need to have it a text, have it text-based or string. So I'm going to have uh, a string, and I'm going to call this blue str for string. And uh, to get to change uh, from an integer to a string, you use string dot value value of blue int. Now if you didn't if we didn't make this uh, if we didn't cast this then uh, we would get a point something or other um, but we just want an integer. So uh, to make this mirror um, what happens in our screen near what eventually will happen in, uh, in Photoshop. I'm going to just put this as 0 red and for 0 of green and then have, uh, have this be my blue int. And let's uh, let's run this and see if it's okay. So mouse down. Oh, <laughs> so what that did was it, it ran went ahead and ran this open script down here. So it affected. I mean, it turned uh, it turned this red like we had last time. So I'm gonna. You know, gray that out for right now. 
and uh, oops. So stop this one, and then if I run it again, there. So we're getting all all sorts of blue values for for the background. Okay, so now that we have that, we want to save it to a text file. And to do that in processing, you have to um, save strings is uh, the easiest way to do it. And you want to say blue, let's do blue value dot tx as a text. And We're gonna we're gonna make this value in a second, so so don't stress out. Uh, we'll make this one in a second, but I just wanted to uh, show you. Just look under save strings, and this will will explain kind of what we're doing. Uh, save strings and uh, a text, and then a list. So we have to make a list first, and. Uh, to put in our blue value into that list. So let's uh, string make an array list. We'll call it str list and new. and we want it to have a length of 1. So to put in the first value, do str list and then 0 and that will uh, that will put whatever we we want here into the first value because uh, we start with 0 and we want blue string as our first value. So, save strings. Let's see if this works. And uh, how we're going to be able to tell if it works is... Um, I'm, I'm just going to go into our bit processing, go down to open change color. So this is uh, the processing that we're running right now. And uh, so let's run this. And when I click on the string, it should create a new uh, text there. Yeah, so you see that it, it created a blue value text. And let's open this up. So this particular time, it came out as 49. But if we do it again, it changes to 1, 126. So it's just giving us random numbers between 0 and 255. Yeah, so 248. So, uh, this is uh, this is nice for right now, but eventually I want to have it, I want to file export application and uh, So open change color and but you'll notice that if I do it okay let me so this this one I opened out of out of this right here I'll just show you again so you'll notice that it puts the text uh, file in wherever you have that one so to make it easier for us later on I'm going to go back to our processing to Apple script. Uh, we're going to put a new folder in. Let's just name it processing apps. And uh, we will 
open change color so this was this is where that text is out of and uh, uh, we will put this into processing apps so inside our processing to apple script inside processing apps we have open change color which is uh, the application that runs from this so so that gives us a, a specific place to get our text value and uh, in the future I'm going to be changing this so each time I change it I'll have to um, export it as an application and uh, and then put it put it here but that gives us uh, um, basically that part of the picture and then next video I'll talk about going from from this part of the picture